what has caused an eroding of self-love within so many of you is comparing you and what you want with others and what they want and you and what you've got with others and what they've got. That's what causes an eroding of self-love. What causes a inclusion of self-love, a an embracing of self-love, a a loving of self is having your eye only on these two vibrational points of relativity where you thought by thought, experience by experience, conversation by conversation, memory by memory, experience by experience, just train yourself into something that feels better and better and better and better and better. If there was ever an inside job, it's got to be that. When you finally get it, that while it feels good to be loved, nothing feels better in all of the universe than to love. We want to replace the word love with some other words we want to say that when you are fascinated by something you are in that vibration of connection with who you are that's as close to love as it gets when you are appreciating yourself or someone else that's as close to it as it gets appreciation about them and ripples of connected energy joins us in our appreciation of that person you mm. see so as you realize that here you are in this body a perceiver and you've got your telescope out there so to speak and you're looking out and you're looking at something and whatever you are perceiving through your telescope is generating an emotional response in vibrational relationship in other words you would have no feelings at all if there were not this vibrational relationship between where you are and who you really are and so as you look out with the intention of finding love and so let it be love of this rug and love of these flowers and love of this environment and love of this wonderful air and, and love of what I'm having for dinner and love of this ring and love of this watch and love of these flexible fingers and love of whatever I can feel appreciation of and as you just begin to tune yourself first to the things that are easy to appreciate and then to the things that are obvious to appreciate and then as you begin looking for things to appreciate you begin to tune yourself into a vibrational alignment with who you really are about things that are easier for you to love because friend we don't want it to be this way it shouldn't be this way but for most of you the hardest focal point on the planet for you to love is that one you see reflected back in the mirror go what? home today and sit before a mirror and sit there and look into the depths of your eyes and look with the intention of seeing your inner being looking back at you and say I know you're in there and I have an inkling of how you feel about me because Abraham has been talking about it and I'm just gonna look for you until I find you I'm gonna stay here until I find that feeling of awareness of me and appreciation of me that I'm looking for and from where you are we can feel that you can get there very quickly but the most important thing that we're saying to you is this self-love that you that you think you're looking for is not love of self it's love that is self and there's a difference there's a difference between loving me and being me who loves and it's being me who loves that is really you and when you're me who loves it's easy to love that one and 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 then it becomes irrelevant what your object of love is if you're loving what difference does it make what is the reason the focal point for the love that you're feeling what possible difference does it make that would be like eating a really wonderful meal and while you're eating it being unhappy that you can't be eating that one and that one and that one and that one and that one doesn't matter which meal you're eating as long as the meal you're eating feels wonderful and doesn't matter what the focal point of your love is as long as the love that you're feeling is the love that really is you you see and the more you do it deliberately and acknowledge that is who I am then the more you demand it of yourself and demand is too strong a word but the more you set your intention to find that and the more you look for it everywhere you go and the more you look for it the more you find it and the more you find it the more you look for it until soon you just become it and then you become this stable being who is never off your balance everything that has everything to do with you you are in control of you see we want you to love you like we love you but in the meantime what difference does it make what the object of your attention is when you're feeling love you in your awareness of not loving self you can't find self-love 
And so we're just trying to build a bridge for you that yeah. in other words anytime somebody hurts your feelings it is because you're in a different vibration than who you really are and so this quest for self-love we think is down the rabbit hole we wouldn't be looking for self-love we'd be looking for the part of self that does love in other words rather than saying to someone that we love I want you to love me we would begin training ourselves into a desire that says I love loving you I love the feeling of loving you and how you feel about me is irrelevant I love the feeling of loving you and then what begins to happen it's like our friend who got so angry at us Abraham I don't think you care if my lover ever comes to me we said that's exactly right we just want you to form a vibration that makes you feel so wonderful that it doesn't matter but then he cannot not come in other words when you find that vibration the universe has to match you up with somebody that feels exactly that way you see but we don't want you to let what's happening in terms of manifestation be the criteria for how you feel and that really is what we were wanting to bring this gathering round to discuss because so many people say okay Abraham I'll play your silly games I'll do your processes I'll do whatever I can do to bring myself to the place of offering the vibration that will get me to the manifestation that I want and we say have you heard nothing from us it isn't getting you to the manifestation that we are teaching you all of this it is getting you to the place of feeling so good that the manifestation doesn't matter and then you worry and say oh so I'm not maybe going to get the manifestation we say that's not what we're saying at all we're saying the desire for the manifestation is what gives you the reason to want to connect to the energy that is really you mm. that is the true living of life and that self-love is evident then you see you're looking for reasons to love and in this environment there is so much abundance of that I'm reaching for a fuller more encompassing sensation of love and sources over there patiently never for a moment impatient always loving me do you know here's a good thing to say to yourself even though for whatever reason I don't like myself very much right now I know that I have not caused source to deviate in sources appreciation of me at all mm. I have not convinced source not to like me source will never ever 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 do that source maintains its absolute appreciation of you and as you know that maybe it will help you uh, give yourself a little more of a break maybe it will help you to acknowledge I'm in the perfect place relative to everything even relative to self-love